Hi, in this video I show you how to create the smoke effect or vapor effect in Swift UI. So let's get started. You can download this animation from the GitHub repository, Swift UI animation library. You can also get the code as a gist from the same library. To get started, we go to the website on draw.co. Here we look for this illustration and download as SVG. With that done, we upload the illustration into Sketch. Over here in Sketch, I'm going to press Command and click in order to select the left layer. I'm going to double click and rename this layer as left. I'm going to command click the middle one and rename that as middle and then select the last one and also rename the layer as right. I'm going to select all the ones we renamed and group them and select the remaining layers make exportable and just export the whole thing as PDF or SVG so that we can upload into Xcode with that done I'm going to unhide the group select each of the layers and also make exportable and here we export each one of them as PDF or SVG so that we can upload into Xcode. In Xcode, I have brought all the views. Here we can remove the play intensity. For example, changing it from 20 to 0. You can see we have all the three layers we rename in Sketch. In order to create the animation I showed before, we apply a rectangular mask to each of the views. We use the offset to set the height of the rectangular mask. For example, changing this from 0 to something like 40. You can see we have reduced the height of the left view. When I change the value to something like 80, you can see we have reduced that more. The same with the one in the middle. I also apply the rectangular mask to that. When I change this to something like 100. You can see we have reduced the height of the view. I'm going to press Command and C to undo the change. The same thing also applies to the one on the right. We can change the mask value to 40. And you can see the height of the view has also changed. Let's preview the animation. Over here, we can see that the one on the left and the one on the right animate in the same way. But the one in the middle is more smoother than those two. Let's look at the one on the left. You can see over here, it is using a custom timing function. You can see the animation of the middle view produces a smooth effect than the one on the left and the right because this view is using one of the default timing functions in the Swift UI. We don't want the animation to look smooth, so we are going to use a timing function that can create a jiggle effect or a wiggle effect. To do that, we go to the website, isins.net, and what we are looking for here is the is in outback. Here, we copy the value of the cubic bezier I'm going to select and remove the animation of the middle view and then uncomment this. You can see over here this value is the same as the one I copied from the website. It's the cubic busy value. And with this custom timing function, we are able to create a wiggle effect or jiggle effect so that the animation doesn't look 
very smooth. The perfect value for the blur intensity was changing this value to 20 and that creates this effect. So this is how this animation was created. With this, I'm going to end here and thanks for watching.